going on guys today we're going to be talking about uh potassium iodide pills and how to take them during a radiation emergency now it's not necessarily only a nuclear explosion attack whatever that happens that would necessitate the taking of potassium iodide pills could also be a nuclear power emergency or something like that um that's actually probably a little more likely than having to deal with a big boom like that. But um, for the purpose and sake of today's discussion, we're going to be talking about how to take potassium iodide pills to protect your thyroid during a nuclear attack. Now, I say protect your thyroid like that because that's what these are for. Now, the radiation really attacks the thyroid, okay? It's really... Um, vulnerable to the radiation, absorbing radiation. So these aren't going to protect like the whole body. You're not going to take these things and like, now I can walk around and, and freaking fall out like a champion. No, like you can't, you still have to be very careful, but these are simply going to help protect you. Um, so there's two types, okay, of these pills that you're going to find. There's these bad boys, which are 130 milligrams, and then there's these bad boys, which are 65 milligrams. These 65 milligram pills are for children. These are intended for, according to the experts, uh, children three to 12 years old, or children 12 to 18 years old, 150 pounds or less. And that's what you're gonna wanna give, that's who you're going to wanna give the 65 milligram pills. The 130 milligram pills is for everybody else. Okay, so if you're over 150 pounds um, and older than 12 to 18 years old, then you're going to want the 130 milligram pills. Now, how do you take these things? Like, what are the directions, right? Well, according to the experts, you take one pill daily for as long as the radiation emergency persists. So the neat thing about neat thing the neat thing about radiation is it's got like a half-life right or at least the nuclear explosion type radiation fallout it's got a half-life so you'll notice here that there's 14 pills per container that's because roughly within two weeks the half-life of that radiation from the fallout is going to diminish in half and then another two weeks after that you're cut in half again so that's why they give you 14 pills really realistically you're going to need one or two packages per person, all right? And that's probably about it. Now, don't freaking take these things unless you really, really, really need to. Like, if a damn bomb goes off in Boston and you're sitting there in, like, New York, like, yeah, you're going to definitely want to take some of these things. Um, but if a damn bomb goes off in Boston and you're freaking in, like, Thailand, I don't know, maybe hold off, you know? And the thing about this is also, you're gonna wanna listen to the instructions uh, from experts, right? So like, let's just say, for example, you're on the other side of the world and the bomb goes off. A bomb goes off in Ukraine, right? Nuclear bomb goes off in Ukraine. We're chilling out here in, you know, America. Um, am I gonna all of a sudden just run to my cupboard and start taking one of these per day? No, I'm not. I'm gonna like, Figure it out from the experts because I'm not a doctor uh, and I certainly don't know like everything there is to know about these damn things. I don't want to take it unless I have to because they're kind of bad for you. But if you were um, in, I don't know, Holland and a damn, you know, explosion went off in uh, nuclear explosion went off in Ukraine, you might want to consider just going ahead and taking, you know, one of these per day. Um, so that's pretty much pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you're within the hazard zone and you're really concerned about it, experts would tell you to start taking one pill per day to protect your thyroid. Again, it's really important that you have a supply of N95 masks and maybe some goggles. Um, I know, I know, nobody likes masks. I get it. Relax. We're not talking about that. No, I'm talking about to protect yourself from the fallout because really the way that your body is most vulnerable to the this, these fallout, and fallout, by the way, is just dust particles that contain radiation on them. And if you get it on your skin, you brush it off, you wash it off, whatever, okay? No, no huge deal. The way that they really hurt you is by going inside your body with breathing it in, eating it, whatever. Then they get inside your body, 
the radiation starts going crazy, and that's what causes all the bad diseases. So you want to make sure that nothing gets in your mouth, your nose, your ears, your eyes. And so that what that's why they, you know, I recommend uh, a simple N95 mask should do it. Gas mask is obviously better, but um, N95s are way cheaper and you can get them a shitload of them right now because nobody wants them uh, for a good price. So you'll also find these um, in way different types of packaging. You'll find these in different types of packaging. You'll get good prices on them different places we actually do sell these and these uh go to fightingsecrets.com we've got pretty competitive pricing on them as well go check out our website uh most of our survival supplies have been diminished and sold out by now but we still do stock these in these the 65 milligram pills and the 130 milligram pills i believe you'll also find 120 something milligram pills out there i think i've seen those but just get these if you can um don't get ripped off Visit us at gutterfightingsecrets.com. We really, really keep our prices competitive. And when, like, threats of nuclear shit happen, you go on, like, eBay and Amazon, the prices on these things skyrocket. But we keep our prices deliberately competitive. So consider us, not to mention the fact that you're helping out the store. I hope this has been helpful, guys. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, mother flowers.